Phoenix got a huge lift from their bench in Game 4. The second unit of Goran Dragic, Leandro Barbosa, Jared Dudley, Lewis Amundsen, and Channing Fry combined for 54 points in the Suns' big win to tie the series. They scored 24 points on 14 possessions to start the second quarter and turned a tie game after one into a seven-point lead. There was nothing really unfamiliar about their strategy. First, they exploited the Lakers in the pick and roll. Here's Fry with the screen. Barbosa is going to turn the corner, and you'll see that Andrew Bynum is late on the help. Then here's Dragic on the very next possession with a facsimile of the same play. In here, Barbosa uses Amundsen out on the wing to buy a little space to his left for an open jumper. Amundsen doesn't have to do only dirty work. When Dragic penetrates off the high screen from Fry, the Lakers' defense collapses, and that opens up the baseline for Amundsen to sneak underneath those collapsing defenders. Dragic feeds Amundsen with a perfect pocket pass, and Amundsen throws it down. On this Jared Dudley three-pointer, Kobe Bryant gets caught cheating from the weak side. So once Dragic gets inside, he slings a pass across his body to a wide-open Dudley. Channing Fry gets off the schneid after missing his previous 17 field goal attempts. The slip by Amundsen up top momentarily distracts Lamar Odom. Bobosa swings it over to a wide-open Fry who finally knocks one down, and the Suns' bench rejoices. It wouldn't be the Phoenix Suns if they weren't draining from beyond the arc in transition. Dragic finds Dudley here, and then on the next possession, Barbosa is the quick recipient. To start the fourth quarter, the Suns' second unit picks up right where it left off in the second. Amundsen again sneaks underneath the defense when the Lakers collapse. Dudley catches, penetrates, then feeds Amundsen underneath for an easy lay-in. Remember that possession from the second quarter when Odom gets distracted as Amundsen slips the screen and dives to the hoop? Well, here's the same play with the exact same result, a fry three-pointer. Here's another three-pointer generated off a middle pick and roll courtesy of a skip pass from Dudley to Barbosa. And here's another transition three, this one by Dudley that gives the Suns a nine-point lead midway through the fourth. Credit the second unit for some strong D in the fourth, particularly the pressure they applied along the sidelines to cut off entry passes. Here's Lakers coach Phil Jackson after the game. The biggest disappointment to me was the, the fact that we took five threes in that sequence of action where... Uh, they made up the ground uh, when we took the lead in the fourth quarter. You can see how the aggressive double teams the Suns run at Bryant induce many of those threes. A little too much is being made of the effectiveness of the Suns zone. The Lakers still had a very strong offensive outing, but there were individual possessions, for instance this long attempt by Shannon Brown, when the Lakers took shots the Suns were pleased to see them take. Overall, the Suns bench shined. It's a great story because a year ago, you couldn't have picked most of these guys out of a lineup. 